When Captain America throws his mighty shield All those who chose to oppose his shield must Hey guys, Captain America here. I was just thinking about one of my stories, an event that happened not long after I was awoken from my little ice nap. And it occurred back when Marvel Comics was publishing my stories. I had to split a magazine with Iron Man, if you can believe it. A magazine called Tales of Suspense. This great little story is one I want to relate to you right now. It's conveniently bookmarked, as you can see. This great tale has great artwork by Jack Kirby. Jack King Kirby, legendary artist. Written, of course, by Stan Lee. So let's take a closer look at this timeless tale. Captain America in Breakout in Cell Block 10. Here he is again, demonstrating his prowess to an official of the state penitentiary. Or so he thinks. I wonder why they asked me to demonstrate how I would defend myself if the prisoners escaped and attacked me. Oh well, they must have their reasons. Where is he? Where'd he go? If you were shooting real bullets instead of blanks, I'd try to evade you just like this. I'll try to get this over with as quickly as possible so that no one gets hurt. I'm still anxious to learn the reason I was asked to come here and do this. He put those guys away like they were nothing. I guess that wraps it up, sir. Unless there's something else. No, that, that does it. You are indeed as good as your reputation, young man. And now, before I leave, you said you'd explain what you hope to accomplish by this little demonstration. Ah, uh, yes, yeah, so I did. I did. By the way, if I didn't know better, I'd swear these guns had been firing live ammo. Oh, no, well, of course, we do know better, don't we? And now, if you'll come with me, Captain America... The explanation you seek is waiting right here for you, here in Cell Block 10. I've heard of Cell Block 10. It's where your most dangerous convicts are kept under maximum security conditions. You are very well informed of such matters. That's precisely correct. I know that this job requires really rugged guards, but these fellows somehow look too brutal. There he is now. About time. We thought you'd never get here. They aren't locked in. It's some sort of trick, but how? Why? Hey, look, guys, I think Sonny Boy is getting suspicious. Well, what do you know? There ain't no flies on him. As you can now guess, Captain America, I am not a genuine prison official. And then, before Cap can make a move, grab him fast. Don't give him a chance to go into action. Relax, Blackie. There ain't anything he can do anyway. Even Captain America can't beat us all. Good work, boys. We've got what we were after. This shield of his will be our ticket out of here. So what do we do next, Deacon? Put him in the cell with the real deputy superintendent. Now that we have his shield, he's no good to us anymore. Don't just stand there. Give us a hand. He's like a tiger. Hey, hold him. Don't let him get away. It ain't easy. There's only about a dozen of us. No sense trying to resist now. I'll wait until I learn more about their plan. Whew, quick, slam the door on him. Captain America, I'm acting Superintendent Carlson. I wish I could have warned you. Don't worry about that, sir. Suppose you fill me in on what's happening here. The cons managed to overpower a guard, take his keys, and get control of Cell Block 10. But they can't break through the main gate to freedom. They're keeping me here as a hostage till they find a way. I see, and they must think my shield has some special power which may help them. You're in a tough spot, Cap, and I feel responsible. Those men are desperate. They'll stop at nothing. Don't worry, Mr. Carlson. I've been in tough spots before. You might even say I thrive on them. Meanwhile, now follow me, boys. With the shield in our possession, nothing can stop us. <laughs> you tell them, Deacon. That one last iron gate, barring our way to freedom, operates magnetically. And so does this shield of ours. We'll use it as our key. Well, we ain't going to get out by talking about it. Let's go, Deacon. Do something. Don't rush me, boys. All right. All I have to do is angle it just the right way and... Hey, what's wrong? Why ain't something happening? You ain't trying to cross us, are you, Deacon? No, you fools, of course not. I don't understand. There seems to be no magnetic impulses in the shield. Is this some kind of joke, Baldy? Everybody knows that his fellow Avenger, Iron Man, designed magnetic powers into the shield for Captain America. So, so where are they? Why don't you ask me that question? It 
it's him again. It's impossible. Nobody could have busted out of that cell. We can't take any more chances. Stop him! Don't worry, Deacon. This will stop anything. Take it easy with that gun, fella. If you stole it from the weapons room, it's government property. You're wasting the taxpayers' bullets. Uh, what's the matter with you guys? Why doesn't somebody nail him? It isn't for lack of trying, that's for sure. I'll take that chopper now. He sees me running off with the shield. I mustn't let him get it back. It's our only hope of escape. You never shoot an unarmed man. True, Deacon. That doesn't mean I'll let you keep my shield. Not when I can stop you so easily. And now I'll show you what that shield can really do. In the right hands, of course. If we don't get that thing back, we can't escape. Hit him with everything you've got. It's our last chance. Get Captain America. You jokers don't know how wrong you are. I threw away all of Iron Man's magnetic gimmicks. They ruined my shield's delicate balance. And it needs perfect balance so that I can handle it like this. So now that we understand each other, I'll help you all get back to your cells, and we'll call it a day. Oh, no you don't. These blasters still make us the boss, and we say you're lying. That blame shield still has its magnetic power, and you're gonna use it to get us out of here. You boys sure take a lot of convincing. Okay, and as much as you're calling the tune, I'll use it all right. But I'll use it my way. Two can play at that game, mister. Here it is coming right back at you. That'll sure knock the fight out of him. He ducked under it. Quick, Thumper, get him while he's off balance. All right, wise guy. You can forget the tricky stuff now. I'm going to put you to sleep with one sock. They don't call me Thumpa for nothing. I've heard of you, the man with the fists of steel. But I'm no weakling myself. It, it ain't possible. Nobody can punch as hard as me. My hands are twice your size, but you almost busted my fingers. Someday you hardheads will realize that strength isn't everything. There's also timing, and leverage, and pressure points. But this is hardly the place for a lecture. Come on, we'll all rush him while his hand is still aching. It's now or never. Quick, before we can grab hold of that shield again. Look, boys, I'm getting bored with all this activity. Why don't you all go to the prison library and read a good book or something? Doesn't the deacon realize I can see a shadow on the wall beside me? He's just not cut out for this sort of thing. I don't want to hurt him, so I'll just lean back suddenly and show him the error of his ways. And then, before another move can be made... Don't anybody move, we've got you all covered. What hit all of you guys anyway, a hurricane? Yeah, by the name of Captain America. I bought help as soon as I could, Cap, but somehow I feel there was no need to rush. Incidentally, deacon, I was not lying. My shield no longer has any magnetic devices. Now, I believe you, mister. But there's one thing you've got to tell me. How did you escape after we locked you in the cell? It was fairly simple. The trained specialist prepares for every eventuality. While you and your penitentiary pards were so eager to run off with my shield, I merely wedged a folded chewing gum wrapper between the lock and the door. So you see, it never really locked. Finally, after order has been completely restored. Now then... What were all the prisoners saying about a magnetic door which they couldn't open? It's the latest thing, Cap. It's modeled after a giant bank vault door. But what the deacon didn't know is, nothing can open it except sound. It's set to unlock at the sound of just two words. What words are those, sir? Captain America. One of my most classic tales. Very memorable story. Well, gang, this is Captain America saying I hope you enjoyed this little story. Stay safe, keep washing those hands, practice social distancing, and keep them flying. <laughs>